Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today um, we have a little hack for you guys. Um, if you like what you see, please remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends. So we're installing these uh, Wise Cam version 3. These are the outdoor and indoor ones. Um, one of the features that is missing from these is that you cannot piggyback the uh, previous models have a little USB connection here so you can piggyback. So as you can see, this is why VCAM2 where you can piggyback off of this connection to a t to hook up a secondary. I don't know what the what's the limitation. I've only used two, but if you look, the connection here is just one and it's actually a fixed connection and it's sealed. And I'm guessing that the reason why they did it this way was to prevent water to, from getting in there and damaging the camera. I've had these outside for a while using one of those uh, external housings and it's been working great. I'm just going to replace them with these. And of course, I was bummed out to find out that you can't piggyback. They could have done it with a uh, rubber seal just like this one here. But maybe that wasn't a cost effective um, option. So they went with the easier route and sealed this up. I'm going to show you how you can uh, piggyback these two devices without an issue. I have managed to piggyback or daisy chain these two together using this dongle right here. So here we have both cams and they're both, let me just show you, I'm moving this one right now as you can see. This is one. I'm going to put it to the side and then we're going to go, this is driveway two, we're going to go to driveway one. Here it is right here and here you have now as you can see they're both on right now I'm going to disconnect them both and show you how I did this okay so as you can see driveway 2 is still loading with the driveway 1 it's going to be loading because there is no power going to them so I'm going to show you step by step so what I did was I used this dongle right here to daisy chain or piggyback these two cameras and I'm going to show you how I was able to manage that. So what I did was I'll connect power. This is my power source right here. I'll connect power to the female side of the dongle. Then I'll connect this one to one of the cameras. You can hear it has power. It's powering on. Let me just show you. So it's getting power. This one has no power yet. We're gonna. I'll take this cable itself and I'll connect it to the dongle USB portion of it which already has power supplied and then this end goes into the camera itself let's try that and note it's gonna light up we'll show you right now see this one is lit up see the blue light I want to plug this one in there light see and then you can see this is our power source and just to show you it's one connection one there it is right there see the wise this is the wise brick okay so go back up here I'm gonna show you both cameras are right now powered on and we're going to show you now through the app. So this is one of the cameras, I believe this right here. See? And then I'm going to put this one to the side as so you can see that it's pointing to that, to that right there. And now we're going to go to this one. This is driveway one and then we're going to driveway two. 
here we go, see, we're watching the same one. Now, if you're wondering what dongle is this, here it is, I'll show you. This is the part number from Amazon. I'll try to put a link in the description. TV Extreme. This is actually meant for fire sticks, so you can add external keyboard. But when I went to replace two of the V2 cameras that I have for the driveway that are daisy chained or piggybacking off of each other, I discovered that they didn't have the um, USB port. So, this is my solution. Anyway, guys, if you like what you saw, like and subscribe, share it with someone who might find this useful. And this is what this channel is about. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one.